morning. Happy Saturday. Welcome back to my channel. This is Judy. Today I'm going to be using my crock pot instead of my Instant Pot this time. Even though it has a slow cooker method, I'm going to use my regular crock pot. And I'm going to make the Hearst um, 15 bean soup mix. So um, I'm going to let it cook in the crock pot for, I don't know, like five to seven hours. And uh, we'll have um, bean soup. But I'm going to use uh, ground sautéed sausage um, instead of ham this time. Because it seems like I always use ham when I do bean soup. So I'm going to try something different. So I hope you enjoy the video. Okay, here we go. So my beans, the 15 bean soup mix. Uh, it actually has a Cajun spice with it. So you can get just regular, I believe. But I've washed my beans really good. Rinsed them really good. Uh, picked out anything that was floating to the top that was bad. And so we're, we're doing the uh, no-soak method according to the Hearst Doc, hearstbeans.com website <clears throat> and so I'm going to add two cups of my pressure canned uh, chicken chicken broth to it it calls for eight cups of, of water or um, liquid Ooh, there we go so I'm adding two cups of that alright and then I'm going to add let's see, four cups of water there we go. And again, I'm going to add, looks like a lot of water, but it'll cook down. And then two more cups of water. All right, we're going to stir this up a little bit. And I've already got my um, crock pot heating up. Okay. And then we're going to add our seasoning. It's a Cajun seasoning mix. that in there. Okay. Let's mix this up. All right. And it calls for tomato, canned tomatoes, um, which I'm not going to add until after the beans are cooked. But I'm going to go ahead and add the meat, which I sauteed the, the sausage a little bit, so I'm going to add that in there. Mm, smells really good. Okay. Mix that up. And I'm going to add a half of a chopped onion in there. And let me tell you, this onion was strong. It about burnt my eyes out when I chopped it up. I don't know why sometimes you get onions that are like that and sometimes they're, they don't hurt your eyes at all. But this one was super strong. Okay, and now I'm going to add in, I had a little bit of celery, probably about three pieces of celery left, so I chopped that up. And then I love these little red bell or little sweet bell peppers. You get red, orange, sometimes yellow. This one just has the orange and red in it. So I chopped up three of those. And we're just going to dump those in. Okay. All right, there's that. And I definitely I want to taste this because I want to add some other spices to it, but I don't want it to be hot. Okay, there's definitely a little spice to it. I'm going to throw in some garlic. And some Italian seasoning. Which you don't have to do all that, but I'm going to. A little bit of black pepper. And a little bit of cayenne pepper. Because it's got a little spice to it, but not... Oh, this is a brand new one. It's got a little spice to it, but not too much. Well, well we'll burn you, so... This was the brand new spice, so... I forgot to open it. There we go. I'm just going to do a little bit of cayenne pepper in there. Alright, let's stir this up. Alrighty. I think... I think I'm going to throw in just a pinch of kosher salt. And I just keep my kosher salt in a jar. There we go. Alright, stir that up. Alright. Now I'm going to put this on high in the beginning to get it going. And I'm going to cook between 5 to 7 hours. And then once the beans are tender, 
Then I will add, I'll bring you back and I'll add the canned tomatoes and I'm going to add some Rotel, just regular Rotel to it, I believe. So, and then for the, to finish it off, I'm going to make some of this, uh, Bob's Red Mill gluten-free cornbread mix. So I'm anxious to do that. So I will bring you back when it's ready to add the tomatoes. Okay, I'm going to make the cornbread now while the beans are still cooking. I still have a few hours to go, so I thought I'd go ahead and make the cornbread. I've got my oven preheating to 375, and I'm using this, uh, like I said before, Bob's Red Mill gluten-free cornbread mix just to make it uh, kind of easy. Let's see. It's one I went the other day, about my last video, I think, or a video before I did a... Um, it's a the drug emporium where they have they carry a lot of Bob's Red Mill uh, stuff. So the recipes are right on the back, and it says one package, which is the whole bag. So I'm just going to dump it all in there. Okay, I'm going to take my whisk and just kind of break up any. Looks like it's pretty good though. Not any big lumps of it or whatever. Okay, now to this we're going to add uh, one and a half cups of room temperature milk. So I've had it sitting out, so one and a half cups. I'm just going to dump it in there. Okay, and then two of my large chicken eggs. And they are have been room temperature also, been sitting out for a little while. So they're not actually cold. And then a half a cup, or you can uh, melted butter, or you, you can use vegetable oil. I'm using the butter, so one stick of melted butter. And it's kind of, it's cooled down too, so I'll scrape it all out of there. There we go. And then we're just going to take our whisk. See how thick it is. I might have to change to a spoon, but I want to break those eggs up. And it's a nice yellow color. And it's kind of thick. Which is probably good. Now, you could add stuff to this if you wanted to. Um, green chilies or any of that. But I'm just doing the, just the basic. Because our, our bean soup is going to be really spicy. So, we're well, not really spicy. But I'm going to switch to my wooden spoon. A lot easier. Just like Whoop go. Make sure we get all the bottom. There's no dry. Okay, and I've got my pan. Uh, they call for a 9x9 nine nine pan uh, to make your cornbread. Or you can make uh, in a muffin pan and muffin uh, papers if you'd rather do that. But I'm just going to make it in the pan. I'm hoping the pan that I'm using is going to be okay. Okay, we're going to get it put in the pan. I've got it sprayed with my uh, Baker's Joy, but you could use, um, you know, Crisco or whatever you want to uh, grease it down. Or you could probably just use butter also. I'm going to switch this spatula. Let's see. Be easier. I'm trying to hold this bowl. There we go. And not be in the way. Get it all scraped in there, then I'll spread it out. The bowl's pretty heavy. Okay. This is a thick batter. Compared to if you've ever made those little jiffy cornbread. My mom used to use those when we were kids. From what I remember, anyway. Okay, and we're going to spread it out. You could also add some maybe corn to this. I've had corn in it. Like I said, the green chilies. Um, what else? Jalapenos. Okay. Spread them as best I can because I've got it oiled up. But alrighty then. So we're going to bake this for around 25 minutes until it's golden brown. And then I will bring you back and show you the results of the cornbread. Okay, the beans are just about done. I added one can 
I had these diced tomatoes. I, I, but I strained, drained them out a little bit so it wasn't too liquidy. They're just chopped tomatoes and I added that to it. And we're going to let that cook just a few more minutes. Put the plate back on. I turned it down on low earlier. So I let it cook on high about four hours and then uh, the sixth hour I put it on low. And here's the cornbread. This is the Bob's Red Mill. I mean it, it Rose up really pretty, golden brown. Smells wonderful. As soon as it cools, I'm going to dish up some bean soup and some cornbread and do a taste test. Okay, it's all finished. It smells wonderful and it looks delicious. The cornbread got nice and thick. Rose pretty high. And uh, the spray helped. It didn't stick to the pan. So that's really good. Okay, so we're going to take a bite of this with some beans and some of the sausage. It's still pretty hot. So I want to burn my mouth. Mm. Wow, that's really good. That's delicious. Mm-mm-mm. Nice, comforting meal on a yucky, rainy day here in Arkansas. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, we're going to try a piece of this cornbread in there. Let it soak up some of that juice. Mm. Wow, that's pretty good cornbread. It has just a little sweetness to it, not much. Mm, very, very good. Oh. Okay, I'm going to eat this. I'm hungry. So I, I appreciate you watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Give it a thumbs up and subscribe and hit that little notification bell so you won't miss any more videos coming up. And I hope you all have a great night. And thanks for watching. Bye.